Hello, oh, welcome to part four in this Ingress Intel guide uh, videos. Um, if you still haven't uh, seen one, two, and three, please do. Part three is probably the most important one because that explains how we installed IITC. This part will go into plugins um, for IITC, as I've mentioned in part three as well. Uh, IITC is a third-party tool. It does break the uh, terms of service. It is not affiliated with Google nor with uh, Niantic. If you get soft banned or banned, which might happen, um, then don't blame me. All right. So start up by firing up the Intel map, as we discussed in uh, part three. Um, this is how an Intel map looks. Um, one thing I might have skipped, the same as in the stock Intel, um, if you assumed too far out, you're not, you're not going to see all the links. This time, it's just sorry, it's just down here instead of uh, inside. So it's actually, it's actually uh, quite uh, easier to read on IITC. One more nice thing. So I'm um, going to look at some plugins. So IITC. IITC. There you go, desktop, and you can see here we have a lot of different plugins, um, different categories. I'm just going to use the most basic ones. Um, I like the show link portals um, that will show if you should choose a portal, which ones they're linked uh, to. Um, install that one. I can go down. Uh, let's have a look. Um, which ones we need? The mission one. That is the same as the uh, the mission uh, link on the stock Intel. But for this one, you need to install a plugin. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, bookmarks definitely a must have. Um, and further down, I'm looking for different ones. Highlighters, not that important to me. Layer, player tracker. Well, some people like it. Some people think it's a um, it's a problem. I'm gonna install it. Doesn't really give you other information that you'll get in the uh, stock Intel. Uh, just gives you a graphical uh, representation. Um, and then draw tools. In my opinion, those three are like the bare necessity, uh, the bare, the, the the minimum. You need those three. Um, portal names, quite cool. So you can actually see the portals without hovering over. Um, you can install different map types, uh, tweak, and whatever. So those three are the ones that we're gonna use. Nothing has happened over here, so I just need to reload the Ingress Intel map. Waiting. And now you can see up here in the right corner, I've got five scripts running. The base, um, the base IITC and the, the ones I've installed. So you can see now that I've got icons of different players out playing at the moment. Um, this is the same information you will get in the um, in the outcome. This just makes it easy. It makes it a little bit easier to see. But some people also uh, say that it's kind of stalking doing uh, using it. So if you don't feel like using it, don't do you don't use it. But um, well, I've installed it. I can click on an a uh, on an agent, and I can see. It's one minute ago since one agent has been at this portal, and I can just see the previous uh, portals they've been at. Uh, yeah. So, I didn't go into uh, to some of the cool stuff in the last uh, video. Um, so, if I choose a portal here now, I'm taking the sloping uh, living roof of the number something. Um, Besides the information we talked about, there's some quite uh, some quite nice things here. You got portal links. Portal link will give you a link to this one portal that you can share with other people. Map link is quite cool too. I'll click on it and it gives you a pop up. 
So here you can uh, you will get a link. Well, you get a QR code, um, the Google Map link, Bing, uh, Bing Map, OpenStreetMap, and then you uh, get the actual uh, GPS um, location, latitude, and longitude uh, that you can share with people. Um, yeah. All right. Underneath here, we got a few ones. Permalink is the same as the, the link on the right, top right corner on the stock Intel. About IITC, well, kind of gives itself give uh, yeah, self-explanatory. Region scores, you can click that one, and you can see this is the cell we are at the moment. Um, uh, Enlightened are doing too well. Um, different things we can see. This you can see these are the different checkpoints and. This is the current cycle. Get checkpoint overview so we can see the last checkpoints, how it's been. Don't want to dwell on that because we're not doing that well. And you can also see top agents, the top three agents, enlightened agents. Well, congratulations, you guys. Um, another link down here, artifacts. Those are shards and stuff. We don't have shards in Copenhagen, so I'm gonna not look, not going to look into it. And, well, it's not that important unless there are shard games running. Okay, so a little bit of um, uh, options. So you got bookmark, click on, which means you can share bookmarks, copy, paste. I go into that one, come, in, come into that one later. Auto draw and draw tool options. So, how do we do that? You, so you saw in part two how I did fields in stock Intel. It's a bit tedious. So instead, she's gonna take this, take, uh, this one and instead of going in and linking, I'm gonna add this one by clicking the star to my um, to my bookmarks. And you can see now there's a yellow marker. Do the same one with this one. Waiting for it to load. There we go. And you can see there. And then I'll choose maybe not the same, but a portal in the same area. So. There we go. So instead of having to go in afterwards and click everyone, now I can go into auto draw. And then now I only have three portals, but I can have more. Let's choose these ones. And then I can choose OK, which is more let cancel. Draw and draw and view. So I'll click draw and view and OK. So now you can see. It's purple and it actually shows me the field, whereas in stock Intel I just get the links. There's no cross links uh, on this one. That is an extra plugin that I didn't install. Um, maybe we should install that too. Um, so yeah, uh, bookmarks in general. There's an we have a new uh, uh, banner up here. So here you can actually click and you can get which portals you've put into your bookmarks. I can add some more bookmarks. You can see it shows up here. Um, minimize it, pops up there. Uh, draw tools also has some other options. You can go in, uh, say I want to draw a line. You can draw a line from there to there. Uh, press cancel, it's gone. Oh, just show you, draw it there and then click on the uh, last point to finish it. You click cancel, it's gone. Same with the poly. Uh, see like this, and click on the first link, and you got. Um, got it. And you can also do a circle. There. Um, or if you want to, you can draw a marker. This one will come in purple instead, but it's there. Um, So I got edit layers and delete layers. So edit layers, I can go in, say my poly, and I can take this one and I can drag it around if that's what I want to, and click save and delete. See, has a good one here. So I delete this one, and I have to remember to click save for it to actually work. So now you can see that I've clicked those three, and I click save, and it's gone. If I want to delete everything, then we can go into draw tool options. So I got copy draw tool uh, uh, items, I get up here and I get a JSON um, text that I can copy to 
whom I want to share it with, or I get an ingress Intel map link down at the bottom. Then also say paste, that's if someone shared it with me, I got reset, and snap to portals. Snap to portals will try and uh, and um, get the the draw uh, the draw to uh, shape snapped into the closest portal and then reset draw items and we're gonna say are you sure? Yes I'm sure. And you can see now once I click OK the field is gone but my bookmarks are still here. Bookmark options I can reset them, copy, paste them as well. I can make put a folder and I can save box information and all kind of stuff. But if I press reset and I say okay, you can see now that all my links are gone. So that is basically what draw tools and uh, bookmarks is good for. Um, so I think that will uh, be the end of this video. Please remember to subscribe and uh, see you in the next part.